as a decimal expansion of the type terminating decimal expansion or non terminating repeating decimal expansion then it will be a rational number and if a number has the decimal expansion of the type non terminating non repeating decimal expansion then it will be a an irrational number so we are some more results about rational numbers and their decimal expansion if a number is of the form x equal to p upon q that means if a number is a rational number then without doing the long division process we can check which type of decimal expansion the number has so if a number is a rational number then the it can be written in the form of p upon q and if the q the denominator has a factor which are of the type 2 power m into 5 power n where m and n any positive integers any of any one of m and n can be zero but both cannot be zero at the same time then if the factorization of q factorization of denominator is of the form 2 power m into 5 power n then the number will have a terminating decimal expansion and if the prime factorization of q is not of the form p to power m into 5 power n then the number will be an irrational will will have a non terminating repeating decimal expansion so this is for rational numbers only first we take an example of 17 upon 8 here denominator is 8 so we will take the prime factors of 8 2 for the 8 2 to the 4 2 to the 1 2 1 is the 2. So factors of 8 are 2 into 2 into 2. That means 2 power 3, and we can write it as 5 power 0, because any of any one power can be 0, m or n. Any one can be 0, but both cannot be 0 at the same time. So we can write it as 2 power 3 into 5 power 0, which is of the form 2 power m into 5 power n, where n is 3, n is 0. So The factor is prime factorization of q is of the form 2 power m into 5 power n. Therefore, 17 upon 8 will have a terminating decimal expansion. Second example is 13 upon 3125. We have denominator is 3125. We will factorize it. So factors of 3125 are 5 power 5, and we can write into 2 power 0. So this is also of the form 2 power m into 5 power n, where n is 0, n is 5. So factorization of the denominator 3125 is of the form 2 power m into 5 power n. Therefore, it also has a terminating decimal expansion. Third example is 29 upon 343. So denominator is 343. Factorization of 343 is of the form 7 into 7 into 7, which is 7 power 3. No, it has no not it has not only no other factors other than 7. so it is not of the form 2 power n into 5 power n because by the fundamental theorem of mathematics b factorization is always unique so it is not of the form 2 power n into 5 power n therefore 29 upon 343 will have a non terminating recurring or repeating decimal expansion other example is 129 into 2 power 2 into 5 power 7 into 7 power 5 here 2 power m into 5 power n is present but Other than this, we also have seven power five. That means the denominator is should be only two and five factors. Should have only two and five as a factor, not seven. Okay? Therefore, it is a non-terminating. It will have a non-terminating recurring decimal expansion.